community is shaken after an 82-year-old man was murdered in his driveway. Today, the shooter is still on the loose. Now, this happened in Zionsville. And police say a high-powered rifle was used to kill John Clements. Officers are following up on leads as we speak as neighbors try to make sense of this violence in their city. I mean, we've lived here 30 years, and we're just totally in disbelief that something like this would be happening. But it's the world we live in, isn't it? Now, police tell us that they are looking for a white late model Chevy Impala with Indiana license plates. It's similar to the one that you're seeing right here in these pictures. And violent crime is rare in Zionsville. The most recent high profile case was back in February. A man shot and killed his niece and her four year old son before killing himself. The Boone County Sheriff's Office took the lead in that investigation. While that's the last time we've seen a murder there, the last time Zionsville police have had to handle a murder case way back in 1997. A friend of Janice Willie's ex-husband strangled and beat her to death inside her garage. Roger Bernard took his own life shortly after. Willie's husband, James Willie, is still serving time in prison for his role in the conspiracy.